Welcome to day 15 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you how to warp your images and create beautiful clean lines using the liquify tool. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nason. and today we're showing you how to use a liquify tool which will literally allow you to warp parts of your image. You can do so much with this tool. I love it to create clean lines on things like clothing. It has a ton of uses, but today we're going to show you all of the top tools within the liquify tool, how to do everything non-destructively and my favorite reconstruct options. So we're starting off with our fashion image here in Photoshop. Now I think it looks really great. Just here in the pants, we do have some wrinkles and things like that. We're going to be using some AI to take care of that. But here in the outline, you can see like the pocket kind of comes out and then we have it out and then in and out and then in. I want these lines to just be a little bit cleaner. And I think this is one of the great contemporary uses of the liquify tool is just to kind of like clean up and smooth these things out, which will really make a difference in the overall image. So let's go ahead and jump into the liquify tool. First thing we want to do is go to your layer. In this case, we're click on the background. We're going to go to filter and then down to convert for smart filters. That's super important. It's going to make sure we have a smart object that will allow us to undo this at any point in time. Okay. Next, we're going to go up here to filter and then down to liquify. And with the liquified filter, we're going to show you all around because there are a few different tools that we're going to be using. The most common one here on the very top left is called the forward warp tool. So let's hit command plus a couple times. You can hold the space bar down and kind of move in and kind of like show you how this works. So with this forward warp tool, basically what you're going to be doing is clicking and dragging and you can actually push areas in or out. So you can kind of move things around throughout your photograph. You can move things around and hit control or command Z. And you can see you can make some really big changes with the forward warp tool. Now you have options for your brush size. The pressure is going to be how much of an effect it's going to actually apply and your density will be either towards the center of your brush or towards the outside of your brush. So let's go ahead and start off by giving you some examples with the forward warp tool because honestly this is the tool you're going to be using like the majority of the time. So let's go ahead and click here on the forward warp tool. Now what I recommend doing, I tend to stay away from people's bodies and things like that. Let's just work on people's like clothing and clean lines and things like that. You can use this tool however you want, but I just want to, you know, just say like we're going to be working on clothing. Let's hit command plus here and zoom in. Now, what we're going to do is use the open and close brackets to make our brush larger and smaller. So for instance, this little point here, let's go ahead and make our brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to kind of push in that point. So we have on a small brush about the size of the object you want to push in. And then we're going to kind of pull this out just a little bit. So like literally just kind of clicking and dragging to create a smooth line there. We're going to use our open and close brackets to make our brush a little bit larger. And there we go with this, we can kind of like smooth this out and just kind of like create a cleaner, cleaner line in general with this piece of clothing. All right. Fantastic. I'll do this sometimes with hair, you know, if like hair is kind of smooshed down on one side of a person's face or something like that, you can kind of like clean up the lines of hair and whatnot. But you can see how basically pushing and pulling this, you're able to create like nice clean lines. And there we go. Instead of having like an interesting point there. Fantastic. So this is with our forward warp tool. Now the next tool we're going to talk about is the reconstruct tool. And this is basically like an undo tool that you can just paint. So as I go over here and paint with the reconstruct tool, it basically just puts it back where it was. So it's a little bit of like an undo that you can kind of like put it back where it was. So if you think you went a little bit too far, you can just click a couple times and just kind of bring it back to where it was. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our forward warp tool and do a little bit more. So for instance, this pocket here, I'm going to use my open and close bracket. We're just going to make this a little bit bigger and then just kind of push this in a little bit. You know, we just don't need a pocket to stick out that far. There we go. Fantastic. And something like that. You want to use your larger brushes, you know, for kind of your bigger changes and your smaller brushes when you have like smaller little areas that you want to address. Fantastic. So we're just kind of bringing this down and then we're going to do the same thing here. Now, keep in mind, this is going to push and pull the background as well. So if I want to pull this in, I don't want to go up or down because look at what it's doing to the background. So I want to kind of push this in, but, you know, kind of work with my background as well as I do that, kind of trying to minimize any type of uh, adjustments that I made here. Fantastic. There we go. And just kind of clicking and drag. So my main goal here is to show you how to use this tool. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't use this tool on. 
but you know for my purposes i tend to want to just avoid people's you know like adjusting the shape of you know people and things like that um but i just i do want to show you how to use this tool now this again we can just kind of do the same thing we can kind of push and pull so up until now we've been using the forward warp tool and the reconstruct tool which are great but we also have a couple tools here like the pucker tool which will actually like kind of suck everything in towards the center so if you click here you can see we kind of have the pucker tool which kind of like brings everything in so if you don't want super baggy you know <laughs> super baggy pants here on the bottom you kind of use the pucker tool to kind of like bring all that in now you might need to adjust a little bit with the forward warp tool to make sure you still have you know all of your like clean lines and things like that right up here there we go but the pucker tool can be really nice next you have the bloat tool which is right under it and you can actually use that to kind of like push an area out i don't tend to use the pucker and bloat tool that often i think the forward warp tool is just a little bit more useful in general just because you kind of have a little bit more control over like how this is actually going to act but the pluck pucker and bloat tool i've used them before for like you know you can like try to inflate a beach ball or something like that you can do all kinds of fun stuff with these different tools but mainly i think that uh, liquify tool is really great for kind of like cleaning up lines and things like that all right so let's go ahead and move up everything looks pretty good let's just push this in especially with clothing like little adjustments like this with clothing i think can actually go a long way all right this we're just going to push in here just a little bit and i'm you know doing my best to kind of steer clear and stay away from actually editing my subject just working on their clothing all right fantastic and kind of bring that in and i like this kind of puffy look but let's just kind of like clean some of these lines here and just kind of smooth these out just a little bit all right that looks really really nice so you can see we've already made a lot of adjustments mostly on the pants of our subject so we've shown you how you can go ahead and change all of these different tools now there's one more tool that i do want to mention and that's called a freeze mask let's say for right over here Let's say you've had your brush tool and you were painting it really large and you just wanted to take this and kind of like push that whole area in, but you didn't want to affect the background. Okay. What you could do is paint a freeze mask right over here. You can paint a freeze mask on an area you don't want to affect just like this. And then you could use your forward warp tool to kind of push in and you're going to see it's going to leave this alone. So a freeze mask can be really, really helpful, especially if you're going to be working with like you know specific textures or the liquify tool is actually really great if you want to do a mock-up with like putting a pattern on a piece of clothing you can use it to kind of like stretch and move it around and wrap it around the clothing as well so that's really cool so a freeze mask just helps you avoid certain areas if you don't want to affect them and then here's your erase freeze mask as well okay now we've done quite a bit with this tool let's go ahead and focus here on the pants because i want to show you my favorite tool of all within the liquify dialog it's called reconstruct we're going to find it right over here in the brush reconstruct option so let's go ahead and click on reconstruct there we go make sure you always 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 do this because i love this tool with reconstruct basically you just have an amount slider and here i can choose more or less and this literally just changes your effect this is like a global undo where you can bring things in and out and you can find like you know a, a midway or like hey do i like all these changes that i did or do i want to find somewhere right in between so always anytime you're doing the uh you know liquify tool in general always do this reconstruct and i put that around 74 percent i think that looks great overall for what we've done all right let's hit okay now when we hit okay for our liquify tool we're going to see all those changes were applied and because we did a smart object i can actually just turn this off and on at any time so you can see i've literally just used this to kind of like clean up the lines of our clothing i know it's not like a crazy huge before and after but you could see how this would be pretty useful especially like a fashion shoot or something where the clothing is you know it, <laughs> is a big part of the shoot if a person's hair is kind of like you know sometimes it happens where a person's hair is like bulging on one side and kind of pushed it on the other side I'll like kind of fix those as well in this case her hair is like pinned back to her face but I just want to give you some examples of what you can do okay now the other thing that we're going to do we have all these lines in our clothing so what we're going to do is grab right over here under our move tool the selection brush tool and we're going to simply paint right over top of each of these lines so, you know, I thought, hey, if we're going to fix the like exterior lines of clothing, we may as, show, may as well show you how to fix wrinkles and things like that, right? Because it's actually really easy now because we have AI. There we go. 
fantastic. All right, and we're just basically painting over all of these wrinkles that we want to remove. And then all we have to do is click right here on Generative Fill in our contextual taskbar and click on Generate. And it's going to know we want to remove all of those different wrinkles. And there we go. And as you can see, just takes a second here to join. And there we go. That looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and just kind of show you the before and the after with this. So let's go ahead and turn both of those off. So you can see here we have, you know, just kind of like the uneven border, the exterior of our pants. Turn on the liquify tool and the interior and you can see we have a much cleaner image. So if you're working with fashion or clothing brands or anything like that, where you have like a baggy surface that has a lot of movement to it, this is a fantastic combination for kind of cleaning that up and making those soft areas look at their best. So you can see just how powerful the liquify tool is. You can literally change the shape of any object in Photoshop. So the next time you have something where like the exterior lines just aren't working for you, liquify tool is the way to go. Thanks so much for watching our series on 30 days of Photoshop. Join us tomorrow where we show you how to use smart objects. Alrighty, thanks again and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.